Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this simple Good Friday service flyer. So the first thing we are going to do is to bring in this background image and we're going to set it up here and just scale it. Now we are going to drop in this second image and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Now we want to change this blend mode, linear light. Click on your shape, pick up your rectangle and go ahead and draw a rectangle like this. Now you want to go under your property, show your fill is empty, your stroke should be white and we want to hold these ends and make the ends straight instead of curved. Now if you have an older version of Photoshop, you will have to change the edges with this property. We want to go into our pixel side and make this as big as we want. So the next thing we're going to do is that we want to go ahead and drop in a second image and I'm going to go ahead to scale this image. Now we want to change the blend mode of this, set it to multiply. Hold down option and I'm going to clip that. Pick up your font tool and we are going to use the B bus and highlight and change the color to a honey mustard. And we are going to go ahead and bring in the logo and set that in the corner. Now we are going to bring in some three crosses and I'm going to set that right there in the middle. Pick up your font tool, choose Charlie Sebastian, and I'm going to type in, and I'm going to move that and set that right there. Choose the all round Gothic, and we are just going to type in. And you can go ahead and set that right in between. So you wanna go ahead and type in your address, add in the time of the event, and also add in the date of the event. So once you have that, the next thing that we want to do is to go ahead and add in a crown. We're going to change the blend mode of this, put it on screen. Now with your move tool, you can go ahead and rescale this whichever way you want. And you can go ahead and set it somewhere like that. I'm just going to drop my subject in. Now we want to cut off the subject. So go up to your property click on convert to layers first of all now when you go back to your property under your quick action you can click on remove background and photoshop will do that for you you can go ahead and scale your subjects to fit in the location that you want now click on your layer max pick up your brush with your foreground as black you want to go ahead and paint a little, move the subject layer below our date. We want to click on our subject layer, go under image adjustment, and then choose brightness and contrast, increase your contrast. You notice that your subject basically blends in well with your design. Now, if you want to go ahead and change up the background, you can click on the last image of your background click on adjustment, add a hue and saturation, and just watch how we change up our design. So guys, you can have this or you can have that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.